Lara joins us now live from Abuja to tell us more about this development. So it's World Bee Day and we have to thank the bee for most of the honey we eat. But what more do we know about the challenges being faced by bee farmers in this part of the world? Okay, so today is the World Bee Day. It's a day being set aside by the United Nations to acknowledge the importance of bees in pollination and the role they play in our ecosystem. Of course, we know pollination is important for plant reproduction, but the belief is that bees are gradually going into extinction as a result of excessive use of herbicides on farms and other agricultural areas. And so the focus in Abuja earlier today was that bee farmers say they need additional support from the authorities to enable them to breed more bees. To them, honey production is a gold mine which Nigeria has yet to explore. According to them, Nigeria could actually make a lot of non-oil revenue from harnessing honey as a means of income generation. I was at an apiary, a place where beehives are kept for, for bees to be bred for honey production earlier today, and I saw that it was a very open environment. And according to the apiculturists, who are the bee farmers, they say that their, their bee farms are, are vulnerable to attacks by cattle headsmen. That the cattle headsmen come, they burn up their hives, take their honey, and they lose their investment. So they want the government to come in in this area to improve on security in the country. They also talk about additional financing for them to breed more bees to improve honey production in the country. I was also at a honey processing factory earlier today, and one of the challenges put forward by those who process this honey in the factory is that they have challenges with finance, and they also talk about challenges of adulteration. They actually say that the adulteration that we see in the markets today actually comes from those who sell the honey to them in the raw form. They say it is at that point that the honey is being adulterated with maybe sugar syrup and some other forms of adulteration we see today, which, is, which, which has made it difficult to actually see honey that is genuine. But basically what the farmers are saying is that they want more government support for them to improve production. They gave the example of Ethiopia, as we saw earlier in our report. They say Nigeria would like to be in the category of Ethiopia as an exporter of honey to other parts of the world so we could increase on our share of honey production around the world. All right, so we look forward to those beautiful days of quality honey production that Nigerians can eat uh, and, of course, enjoy it first before even start thinking of exportation to other parts. Lara Folayo, happy World Bee Day to you.